Good morning. I'm going to read you an important story today. There were a lot of women who did important things for God and for God's people. But sometimes they were not included in the Bible. And sometimes, even if they were included in the Bible, we never learned their names. But today, I'm going to read you the story from the Bible about a woman whose name we do know. And her name was Esther. So today's story is about Queen Esther. Once there was a young girl named Esther. Her cousin, Mordecai, worked for the king. When Esther's parents died, she went to live with her cousin in the palace. Esther learned new things. She wore dazzling clothes, and she grew into a beautiful young woman. When the king saw Esther, he said, I am so happy. I want you to wear this crown, and I want you to be my queen. Now, Esther and Mordecai were Jews, and many people did not like Mordecai or the Jewish people. But the king was a wise man, and he always listened to what Mordecai and Esther had to say. One of the men who did not like Mordecai was a very proud man named Haman. One day the king said, I am giving Haman a special job, and because he is so important, everyone should kneel and bow down to him. This made Haman happy because he thought a lot of himself. But Mordecai knew that God was the only one that he should bow down to. When Haman saw that Mordecai would not bow down to him, he was so mad. And when he learned that Mordecai was a Jew, he was even madder. This isn't right, Haman said. I am going to punish Mordecai and all of the Jewish people. Haman saw that the king loved Esther and that he listened to Mordecai, and this also made him angry. Haman knew that they were Jews, so he planned for all of the Jews to be killed. But Esther was smarter than Haman. I have found out something important, Esther told the king while they were eating at a banquet. She told him of Haman's plans to kill all of the Jews. When Esther told the king that Mordecai was her cousin and that they were both Jews, the king wasn't mad at her because the king loved Esther so much, he gave Mordecai the job that Haman had before. Here is my ring for you to wear, the king said to Mordecai. Write a message to all of the Jews in my name and seal the letters with my ring. The letters that Mordecai wrote went to people all across the land. And they celebrated with music and feasting and dancing. Hurrah for Queen Esther, the people cheered. Because the king loves her, we are saved. It's a great story. I hope someday you'll read more of it in the Bible. So what do you think you might have done if you were Esther? Would you have told the king? Just something to think about. It takes some bravery to do that, doesn't it? To stand up against people who are mean. Okay, I hope you have a good week. Bye-bye.